All praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect of Israel. Behold a pale horse, the RFID chip. That's the topic of my lesson today. I'm going to be going into the book, Behold a Pale Horse. Behold a Pale Horse by William Cooper. All right, because this book exposes a lot. And when you read up about William Cooper, he exposed a, a lot of the, uh, the the details of these secret societies of the Illuminati. He exposed a lot, a lot of uh, the information about them. And later on in life, in, in uh, 2001, he, he died in a shootout with police, which I believe is more depth to that story. I believe the elite killed him. All right, I believe the the elite murdered him because of everything that he was exposing. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to read the prophecy on the chip in Revelation 13 and 16, and I'm going to go into the book, Behold a Pale Horse. All right, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and that mark is evidently the chip it's nothing else and you won't be able to buy or sell except you have that mark except you have that chip all right so i'm going to read this book uh behold a pale horse I'm going to get right to the point. All right, this is on page 444. And it says, Big Brother's Coming. Revealed secret plan to tag every man, woman, and child. And I believe this is the reason why he died. All right, why William Cooper died. All right, it says, Coded microchips implanted in every person in the country would tie all of us into a master computer that could track anyone down at any moment and plans for such a system are already underway whether you like it or not and I'm just going to read the key parts okay we don't need to get it all I'm going to read right here the secret scheme is being touted as a service for the protection of the people by high government officials but some insiders who object to the move say it's just another way for Big Brother to control its subjects. All right. So um, that, that's what it is. That's the purpose of the chip to track your every move. OK. But because, uh, you know, they already have cameras watching you and they can track you by your uh, your phone. OK. But see, with this chip, this chip is always going to be in you. All right. So it, it, it's no uh, taking out a battery from uh, from your smartphone, which a lot of these different smartphones, they have internal batteries now. OK. You know, and, and they can track you by uh, by GPS. It won't be a need for that because they can just track you with this chip. OK. And I'm going to read down here, and this is going to be it. Injections. But with the astounding technology of today, everything about you could be contained in one tiny microchip, which would be connected to a government computer. Any government agency will know what any person has done and is doing at any time. And, and that's the purpose of that chip, all right? It's, it's, it, that's why it's called the New World Order or uh, One World Government. Other sources say the tiny transmitters can be injected painlessly from a tiny gun in humans without them even knowing it. Which that's a lie. You, you're going to know that you took this chip because it's going to be by consent. It's going to be with consent. All right. You're going to agree to it. They're going to force it upon you, but you're going to agree. And that's why those of us that's not going to take it, 
You know, uh, if, if you're set up to be a martyr for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're going to put your head in the guillotine and, and chop your head off. All right? Because we're not going to uh, consent unto them. We're not going to consent. All right? But that's it on that. You know, I hope this uh, was edifying. Okay? But you're not supposed to take that damn chip, man. And it's coming. It's coming, man. It's really already here, but it's just a matter of time before they implement it. All right? But let me get a, uh, a scripture. I'm going to get one more scripture, and I'm going to close this out. All right? Because they spoke about... Uh, they, they spoke about them um, implementing implementing this chip, okay? And uh, without you even knowing it, you're going to know it, all right? And that's why the scriptures are going to say this. This is Second uh, Ezra chapter 16, and uh, we're going to get to the point. Second Ezra 16 and 69. And and, uh, and it says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. So that's the point. If you consent unto them, meaning if you take this chip, if you take that chip, you, you're going to be trodden underfoot. All right. You, you, you're going to be had in derision. You're going to be a laughing stock. All right. And you're going to be uh, in reproach. You're going to be ashamed and you're going to be trodden underfoot you're gonna be stumped out man okay because we are supposed to uh, be willing to die for this truth no matter what even if it's looking like that uh, we're not gonna live man okay don't consent unto this uh, devil alright fuck Esau man and fuck his world alright so um, with that all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai till the next lesson I say Shalom we are anonymous we are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.